Thank you very much, uh, Jerry, uh, for the nice introduction. And in the next minutes, I'm going to provide a quick overview of the ISS technical activities um, developed since the last symposium in 2019. Uh, the technical activities of the association are mostly carried out by the working groups and the technical activities committee is formed by all working group chairs. In spite of the postponement of the 2020 symposium and the difficulties caused by the COVID-19 pandemic, working groups have continued their activities during these two years. Let me first present an overview of the different working groups. There are 12 active groups. They have an average of 20 ISS members with a multidisciplinary composition and diverse geographic origin. Working groups can be divided into two types. First, groups dealing with specific topics like towers, shell roofs, tension structures, metal and timber structures. They include two technical expert groups, the number three on cooling towers and the number four on communication towers, whose members are mainly working in the industry. The second type comprises groups studying transverse topics, computational methods, morphology, historic structures, life cycle of structures, teaching and advanced manufacturing. From time to time, some working groups are discontinued after they have completed their mission and others are created according to the onset of new fields of activity. The Executive Council approved in 2020 a revision of the policy on technical activities. The original policy has helped to keep the pulse of our technical activities by asking working groups to organize a session in each year's symposium and to report their activities using the website. However, after 10 years in force, it felt necessary to uh, improve some aspects and adapt to new possibilities. The new 2020 policy stresses two fundamental questions. Uh, planning of the activities and communication to the ISS community and beyond. On one hand, uh, working group chairs annually plan one or more activities in the in coordination with the TAC chair. On the other, they make all working group members aware of the activities and encourage them to participate. In addition, working groups provide the ISS communication committee with relevant information about their annual activities to be uploaded to different social media. Working group activities comprise the organization of meetings, special sessions and exhibitions, the edition of special issues of the journal and the preparation of reports and guidelines, among others. Now I will review the main activities of each working group. Working group three is the technical expert group on cooling and solar updraft towers. The chair is Professor Reinhard Harte. The group organized the International Conference on Industrial Chimneys and Cooling Towers in Edinburgh in October 2019, jointly with the International Association for Industrial Chimneys and the German Technical Association for Power and Heat Generation. The next conference of this series, ICCT 2022, will be held in Shanghai in October uh, 2022. It has been postponed due to the pandemic. Working Group 4 is the technical expert group on masts and towers. The chair is Mr. Morgans Nielsen. They held the 29th biennial meeting in Winchester in September 2019 with the support of Arquiva, owner of the broadcast antenna towers in the UK. The 30th biennial meeting of the working group was postponed due to COVID-19 and will be held in Toronto in September 2022. The biennial meetings of the group will be held every even year from the next. Working Group 5 on concrete shell roofs is co-chaired by, sorry, is co-chaired by Professor Sigrid Adviansens and Philippe Bloch. They co-sponsored the first Italian workshop on shells and spatial structure, IWSS 2020 online. The co-chairs were virtual panelists in Shell Structures, a panel held on the digital platform Digital Futures, organized by Tonji University, and they were involved in the formulation, design, and fabrication of the Isler Award.
In addition to the contribution of the group to the special issue on computational methods of the ISS journal, they organized two sessions in the symposium, 21st Century Fabrication and Construction of Shells, organized by Stefano Gabriele, and Conservation and Preservation of 20th Century Historic Concrete Shells, co-organized by Maricela Mendoza and John Chilton. You may notice that I am including the day and number of the slots in which the sessions are taking place and that one session may be covered in several time slots. The topic of working group six is tension and membrane structures. The chair is Professor Kenichi Kawaguchi and the co-chair is Professor Maraike Mollet. Ronald Sheffer, past co-chair of the working group, sadly passed away on November 2019. The group organizes one session in this symposium with the topic tension and membrane structures, recent developments in and around the United Kingdom. Krishnan Sudarshan is the co-organizer. There is an ongoing action to redefine the mission, activate special research areas and identify young active members in the group. Several new members have already uh, joined the group. The topic of working group eight is metal spatial structures. The chair is Professor Toru Takeuchi and the co-chairs are Professors Suduo Shue and Shiro Kato. I already announced the preparation of the guide to earthquake response evaluation of metal reticulated roof structures and the draft version is available on the working group eight site and is open for review and comments from ISS members. Two sessions have been organized with titles metal grid shell structures, connections and stability, and dynamic response of metal spatial structures. Working Group 12 on timber and bio-based spatial structures is chaired by Dr. Andreas Falk and the co-chair is Professor Minjuan He. The group organizes one session titled Bio-based concepts in inspiring the spatial structures and architecture of the next generation. And there are plans to produce a special issue of the Journal of the ISS on timber and bio-based spatial structures. Working Group 13 on computational methods is co-chaired by Professors Makoto Osaki, Kai Uwe Bletzinger and myself. A new study group, group with the topic Next Generation of Parametric Design promoted by Dr. Jerun Coendas has been established recently. And also we have edited a special issue of the ISS journal titled Computation of Shell and Spatial Structures, the June issue of the journal this year. And the contents reflects the diverse interests in the computation community within the association, optimization, advanced analysis, as well as parametric design. In addition, two sessions have been organized. Optimization methods for analysis and design of roof structures and uh, next generation uh, parametric design. The first one is uh, co-organized by uh, Professor Feng and Professor Osaki, and the second is promoted by the new study group uh, within Working Group 13, led by Jeroen Kenders. The topic of Working Group 15 is structural morphology. The chair is Professor Nils de Temerman, and Dr. Tomohiro Tachi uh, was appointed co-chair of the group last year. Working group 15 is structured around several study groups, transformables, origami, graphic statics, active bending and geometry. A regular activity of the origami subgroup are the origami gatherings that take place biannually in January and August. The first one in 2020 was held in San Francisco and currently there are online because of COVID. The study group on graphic statics is organizing a session on optimized structural design at ASC Congress in 2022. And there is also an organized session on transformable structures. Working group uh, 17, historic spatial structures, is undergoing some changes in the leadership. Professor Ed Saliklis has stepped down as working group chair. I would like to thank him on behalf of the ISS for his contribution as past chair of the group. The baton is taken by Professor Maricela Mendoza, who was recently appointed new chair by the ISS president. 
and Professor Rom Romual Tarsevsky, Tarsevsky continues as Working Group Co-Chair. Working Group 18 has changed its name from Environmental Compatibility to Life Cycle Design Assessment of Shell and Spatial Structures. The new name reflects the current di directions of the activity of the group. The Working Group co-chairs are Professors Corentin Fivet and Olivier Baverel. The group has published a special issue of the International Journal of Space Structures on Upcycling Structures. And Corent Amphibet is participating in the recently established Joint Committee on the Globe Consensus on Sustainability of Structures on behalf of the ISS. This committee is promoted by major international associations in the field of structures, CIB, ECCS, IAPC, ISS, FIB, and Ryland. The working group chairs are panelists in the Net Zero How to Get There panel on the plenary session on Wednesday. Additionally, the group organizes a session on life cycle design and assessment of structures. Working group 20 on teaching of shells and spatial structures is chaired by Professor Olga Popovic Larsen and co chaired by Professor. Alireza Benejad, who, as you already have noticed, is the chair of this symposium. The group organized seven workshops in UK, China and Iran on the design and construction of membrane structures, form finding techniques, cutting patterns and study models in collaboration with the local hosting universities. Chair Olga Popovic authored the book Physical Modeling for Architecture and building design with ICE panelists, ICE publishers. The group organized session has the title Tactile Strategies for Teaching Spatial Structures. The last active working group is the number 21 on Advanced Manufacturing and Materials. It is chaired by Dr. Arno Pronk and co chaired by Dr. John Orr. The group organized the ISS 2019 pavilion exhibition and contest in Barcelona, as well as the 2019 ICE design competition at the Harbin Institute of Technology in China. The third pavilion exhibition plan, planned for ISS 2021 in Surrey has been transformed into a design competition and you can attend the corresponding plenary session on Thursday. The group is organizing a session on fabric formwork at the 2021 Structural Membranes Conference too. After this summary, let me remind you that you can find more information about every group in the specific pages at the ISS website. 